Rated T for Teen. The other thing we're really excited to give you in the downloadable content packages are five new game types for multiplayer use. And we focus on both solo, co-op, and team-based games. The solo mode that we have is called Thief, and this is essentially a, a deathmatch type mode where every player is out for themselves, and you start with a pool of points. And to get points, you kill other players. And what you do is every time you kill a player, you take half their score and add it to your own. Next we have uh, Double Siege, which is another team-based game, and the basic concept is pretty simple. Um, each team has a base that they also have to defend while trying to attack the other team's base. So you really have to work together as a team to decide who's going to defend the base and who's going to go try to capture the enemy's base. So now into the big co-op uh, game mode that we're going to have. Uh, it's called Co-op Hamburger Hill, and as you might guess, it's a cooperative version of the Hamburger Hill game type. And what that will allow you to do is to play Hamburger Hill against AI teams an AI-based team that is assaulting the central area just like regular players would while you're playing on the real game. For the downloadable content pack number two, we have included two sets of digital camo, along with a winner version of the ghosts and a winner version of the Korean enemies. These winner versions go great with the new Bonfire's Day and Bonfire's Night maps. Bonfires is one of the smaller map shipping with the downloadable content, but it feels like one of the largest when you're actually playing in it because of the lighting element. Generally, players don't move unless they're in the shadows, and all the control zones for most of the game types, like Hamburger Hill and Domination, are lit up by large bonfires, so it's really dangerous to be standing out there in the light on a nighttime map. Bonfires Daytime is a lighted up version of the Bonfires map. The daylight allows for long, clean sight lines, and it's a great map for snipers because you can see from the high points you can see all the way across the map. I think Missile Sight is my favorite map from the downloadable content. It's unique in that you can walk on top of several buildings in the map, which is really cool. That's a really good vantage point looking at the rest of the map. The buildings in this map provide good cover and it's sort of an element that the other maps do not have. This is a great map for snipers. It's a snowy map with lots of craggy rock formations that allow for plenty of vertical combat. The Hamburger Hill Zone is in the middle of the map, and it's up very high, so you have a really good vantage point looking down onto the rest of the map. 